Good morning. Today I'm going to read you a story which we read already. We read it in the beginning of the year and it's called Giraffes Can't Dance. Um, this story reminds me a lot of the story I read you the other day, Red. It's very similar. It has a lot of similarities. So after I'm done reading this story today, I'm gonna ask you to help me compare and contrast the two stories. So if you remember, oops, compare, oh, Miss Cortez, compare and contrast means we're gonna find how they're the same and how they're different. So if we're gonna compare and contrast, we're gonna find how the stories are the same and how they're different. So as we're reading Giraffes Can't Dance, I want you to think how it's the same as uh, to Red and how it's different. If you remember, Red was a crayon that couldn't color. Everybody would talk about him because he would try to color red, but it always came out blue. And so then all the other crayons would try to help him, but it didn't work out. His teacher tried to help him. His grandparents tried to help him and it didn't work out, he would always uh, color blue instead of red. So then people would talk about him until finally one of his friends asked him to color an ocean. And he was like, I can't do that, I'm red. I can't color an ocean. And she asked him to try and he was able to do it. And after that, everybody was so impressed that he could color all these blue things and so everybody started saying really good things about him after that. So at first people were saying bad things about him and he felt like he couldn't do a good job. And then people started saying good things about him once they realized that he really wasn't red, he was blue. So I want you to think how that story is kind of the same as Giraffes Can't Dance and how is it different, okay? Ready? So, Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Anderson and Guy Parker Reese. So this is a fiction story also, it's not real. Giraffes Can't Dance. To my cousin at Sandbacks, Giles, for Phi, John, Rod, and Andy from Guy. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. So remember him? Mm -hmm. So that's Gerald. Sorry, I'm gonna try to fix that light. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots of trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at his knees. So he was good at eating, but he wasn't very good at moving around. Now, every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal runs, turns up to skip and prance. Jungle dance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. So Gerald is not good at dancing. <laughs> the warthog, warthog started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Everybody has their own dance. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald, Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. 
Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Uh-oh. Hmm, anything that reminds you of the bread? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He would never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on, but sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is the branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. What's happening to Gerald? He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Mm, look at Gerald go. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. He's so excited, so happy. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Hmm, does that remind you of anything? How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. He went, thank you, thank you. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon, at the, star, at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. The end. Okay, now you're gonna help me find some similarities and some differences to red. So how are these two books the same? How are they different? Let's compare and contrast them. And we're going to use this information for our journal today. Okay. So when I look at these two books right away, I can tell that there's one difference. So Gerald and Red are different because, well, one is a giraffe and one is a crayon, right? So they're different because Gerald is a giraffe. Gerald is a giraffe. And Red is a crayon. Uh oh, it didn't fit. And red 
is a crayon and I have to capitalize Gerald and Red because that's their name and remember if it's a name it has to be capitalized. Red is a crayon. Period. Okay, how are they the same? Let's think about the story. What happened in the story that was similar or the same for both of them? How are they similar? Hmm, how are they similar? Well, if I remember in the story, they both seem to be pretty different. So Gerald and Red are similar because they both don't really fit in with everybody else. So they are similar because they don't fit in. They're not like everybody else, they're different. Okay, how else are they similar or different? Again, if I think back in the story, what's the same and what's, what's different in the story? So they're similar because they both have people or animals or crayons that are talking about them, right? So in Gerald and Red, the crayons are always talking about them when they're not very good. So they're different or they're, this, they're similar because they both have others talking about them. Okay. And how are they different? How are Gerald and Red different? Well, I know that they're different because, well, if Gerald is a giraffe, in the story he dances, right? And then Red colors. So they're both trying to be good at different things. Gerald is trying to be a good dancer and Red is trying to be a good color. So Gerald dances. Mm, it's not gonna fit. Dances and Red colors. So that's, they're different. How else are they the same? We're gonna think of at least one more or two ways that they're the same. So at first, they both feel pretty badly about not fitting in. So they feel like they're not good enough. Both Gerald and Red feel like they're not good enough because everybody else is talking about them and telling them that they're not good at something. So they both feel, they're similar because they both feel they're not good enough. Okay, they both feel they're not good enough. And then if I think of the story also, they're pretty similar. How did both stories end? Did they have a happy ending? What happened to Gerald and to Red at the end of the story? They both realized that they have their own talent, right? They're different, but that doesn't mean that they're not good enough. They're just different. They have a different talent. Just like I told you that you and I and everybody else is good at different things, right? We all have different talents. So we can say that Gerald and Red are similar because they both find their talent. So by the end of the story, they both find their talent. Gerald finds a way to dance and Red finds a way to color. Okay, 
So there are more similarities and there are differences and that's okay. You're gonna use these for your journal writing today, okay? So you're gonna pick one way that Gerald and Red are similar and you're gonna pick one way that Gerald and Red are different. And you can use these. If you can come up with another one, that would be great. These are just some of them. So if you come up with another way that they're the same or that they're different, then you can go ahead and put that in your journal today, okay? Good job. I hope you like the story and can't wait to see your journal.